Okay, it's January 17th. Made it back from Jamaica, man. That was a rush, quite a trip. Like, I haven't smoked pot in probably, I don't know, 17 years, maybe. Maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. So you get off, you get into the airport in Jamaica, you go out to the bus terminal and it's a freaking madhouse. I mean a madhouse. There's, there's like f six, ten people all screaming at each other like, Oh, the bus is over here, the bus is over Where are you going? You go over here. You go over there. Then they go over there and they say, where are you, where are you going? And they tell them, and they go, oh, you go over there. And they start screaming at each other and the buses are coming in inches from each other, like just trying to park, get everybody on, unload people. It's a freaking madhouse. So you stand in there. And uh, I'm, I'm not there like two seconds. And somebody uh, comes up to me. One of the guys that works there, you know, he's got a white shirt on with his name tag and everything. He's like, oh, you want a good smoke? You want a good smoke? I'm like, what? No, I don't want any. He's like, oh, I got some good smoke. I'm like, what the hell? So we get on the bus. Finally, we're going to the resort. And the bus driver gets on, he's got the microphone, he's telling everybody, oh, you are in Jamaica now, and everybody's like, yeah, man, yeah, and it's just, a, I mean, what is everybody, Bob Molly, is, is he, does he run the country or something, and um, this is the bus tour guy, so we get going on the bus, and they're selling beers for like five bucks for these little, I don't know what they were, I can't remember, red something beers, local, it's like their Budweiser, and, uh, and he's like, oh, yeah, everybody smoke here. Does anybody smoke? And the bus driver is selling pot. And he's telling you that, you know, you can buy some from him when they make the stop. He'll give you some, you know. It's just insane. But it was a lot of fun. It was, the trip was, I mean, <clears throat> it was easier than I thought. The flying, getting through airports, except on the way back. The way back sucked. Getting through customs. It took us three hours. And then I go to the kiosk and I put my passport in it. And it comes out with an X on it. I'm like, what, is it, what the hell does that mean? So she, this girl tells me, oh, you get in that line. So I'm in the line, I'm waiting. The other lines are going all through. They're taking forever on these lines, the X line. And then you find out, I asked one of the guys, like, what, is, what does the X mean? He goes, oh, there's a problem, you know, like maybe you're wanted or, you know, you might have a speeding ticket or some ridiculous thing. The IRS wants you um, getting back into the country. And I never thought about it. I was like, holy shit. What the hell? So he said it could be anything. It could be tr 12 different things. It could be just a computer error. Your name's spelled wrong or something. So I wait and I wait and I wait. Meanwhile, Bridget is lost. She's in another line somewhere and they take her to another spot. I find out later that she just went right through. So I finally get up to the line. And while I'm in the line, they take people away to this holding area. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus Christ. So we finally make it up there. And it's like, I'm there for like two seconds. The guy looks at it, he goes, oh, you're David Bradford Hall? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, no problem. Checks, you know, stamps the thing and gives me the thing. And I'm like, what was the X for? I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so, what a pain in the ass that was. So Jamaica was a lot of fun. It was uh, beautiful weather come back to the airport and it's like 20 degrees outside in Providence and it felt like it was 20 below let me tell you I brought all my clothes I had everything hat gloves coats I had everything on I was still freezing so but we made it back uh, I didn't smuggle any pot into the country I didn't think it was worth it since it's legal here <laughs> I don't know why they even think you're going to smuggle pot back. It's like, you go to Massachusetts, it's fucking legal there. Why would I be smuggling pot into the country anymore? It's just so weird, the way people are, though. So anyways, that was my... We're out walking in Wayham today. And uh, we're back on the, the snowy trails. See ya. I didn't find any Bigfoot in Jamaica. Nothing. Nothing. I never even heard of them. People didn't even know, had never, didn't even, had no clue what the Patty film was about. Wow. So, I have to start a group in Jamaica. <laughs> See you guys.